Oh hi, uh, Sean here, and today we're going to show you the 10 things to install after installing Ubuntu 12.10. First thing we're going to do here is open the Ubuntu Software Center. We're going to install the restricted extra codex for playing kind of all var variations of different codecs. So it's uh, just type in restricted. So it's the Ubuntu restricted codex in this case. There's ones there for Zubuntu and Kubuntu. Just enter your password then. Now the next one is VLC player. It's a very good player, and uh, Ubuntu comes with um, movie player. There it is here, or here it is there, should I say? So we're going to type. We're going to install VLC player. It's available there now on the Ubuntu Software Center. We'll install that. If you don't like the Firefox web browser. The next best one to install in is the Chromium web browser. Just type in chrome. We already have that installed there now. Um, if you want to tweak your Ubuntu, a good tool is called My Unity. Again, just search for it. So we'll install that as well. If you don't like the Unity shell, you can install the GNOME shell. So it's GNOME um, hyphen. There's your GNOME shell there. Just to install that if you don't like the GNOME shell or the Unity shell. And you just like the standard Ubuntu desktop. The GNOME panel is the one to install here then. I already have it installed. Now we're talking there about, um, we just minimize the software center for a second. We were talking about Skype. The first one, well there's two there, is uh, Google Earth. We can download Google Earth from here. 32-bit Debian for Ubuntu, or the 64-bit, just agree and download there. Skype is the same thing, download now, Ubuntu 1004, 32-bit or 64-bit. I have both of them downloaded. Um, if you want, to, of course, you're, you're going to need Ubuntu 1210. This is the daily build of Ubuntu 1210. This for the 32-bit and the 64-bit desktops there. And, of course, restricted formats for playing DVDs there. So there's two lines of code you have to install. So we'll just um, open the terminal in here now. And that can be found right here. Just type in TER. That's your terminal. We'll click on another one. We can open as many as you like. And basically, we're just going to select this bit of code here. Paste it in. And again, our password. That's why I already have it installed. And just the other line of code here. And this is just for playing, if you want to play DVDs on your machine. And it comes from the Medibuntu packages there. You can see it up ahead there, up in the top. See it there, medibuntu.org. I'll also leave a link there for the, if you want, to, if that doesn't work, you can install the Medibuntu um, software sources. I'll leave a link to that page as well. So that's sorted now for playing DVDs. We close these down. We'll open our home folder. So we have Skype and Google Earth here. We just open that with the Ubuntu Software Center. As far as I know, I already have it installed. There's the Ubuntu Software Center wiggling at me there. That's already installed, very good. And um, I think as far as I know, we have Google Earth installed as well. But again, you just open them with the Ubuntu Software Center. And um, there's Google Earth. Again, we have that installed as well. Into your dash home then. You can search for your Skype in here. It's Skype version 4. And Google Earth. And you can drag that into the launcher. But more than likely, once the Ubuntu Software Center installs it, it'll leave it here in the launcher for you anyway. And there it's opening now. Now, don't worry, it, it, it just seems a bit slow at the moment. And the, the reason behind that is because we're recording the desktop. And again, this is not the full version of Ubuntu 12.10. I'm going to quit it from here now. And there it is gone. But it, it runs normally. It runs perfectly normally, just as we're recording our desktop. Here's our My Unity here. It's saying waiting to install. Just a small little bug there. But you can change the transparency there of the your, your launcher. 
and the size of your icons in the launcher. You can make them bigger or smaller. I usually leave it around halfway. Same goes for the panel. You can make it transparent. Desktop, you can take icons on or off the desktop there. You can change your fonts, you can change your teams. That's just the credits to the people who wrote the, the program. Now, one more thing you'd like probably like to install. I don't know if I've mentioned it or not. That's your Compass config for your wobbly windows and all. I've done a video on Novell Desktop how to install Compass on um, Ubuntu 12.10. And that's the one there. We haven't installed it, so I'll hit the install, actually. So I've done a video on how to get Compass running on your machine. Um, that's about it. Your Ubuntu then is ready to go. Again, we have um, a, a USB drive here, and you can see we've, we, we, can, we can set our videos then, say to open, if we click on properties here, open with, you see, you've got movie player and Zine is installed as well. But we've set our default player to VLC, or you can set your default player to movie player. You can do that here from the properties. Let me just open that. Yeah, very good. So that's it, and um, Compass is installed now. And um, thanks for watching.